Jeff Millennial here. I'm challenging you all to let me know what team I am going to next. Why, you might ask? Let's take a quick look into some numbers here. Jeff Millennial, my career current summary. This guy is looking fantastic. 72 overall. And let's take a quick peek now into our actions. Has the potential to be special. So we're at that 72, guys. Once we hit that high 80, or no, sorry, high 70, I'm going to request that transfer. What team? What is up, guys, and welcome back to the Millennial Man Cave. You heard it in the beginning. Jeff Millennial's numbers are on an upswing hard, baby. Hard. We're looking great. We're feeling great. We're playing well. And there's only other one way to go up. I imagine that if we finish this season strong with Toronto FC, we should get to that high 70 that we want to do. All thanks to Soccer, one of our best FIFA viewers, checking in every episode. So Soccer, shouting you out, my good man. We're going to wait till we hit that high 70, and we're going to request the transfer. And we will see where Jeff Millennial's career goes. Hopefully leaving the MLS and maybe getting into some European action. So, as we left off the last episode, guys, you know that we are about to take on the big rivalry, Toronto FC against the Montreal Impact. So let's not waste any time, and let's get into today's action, man. We have hopefully have two great games for you guys lined up here. Look at this, two BMO-sponsored teams. There's Jeff Millennial lining up there, looking great. So you can see we're on that upswing trajectory, 72 overall. Jordan Hamilton still in for the injured Josie Altador. Ashton Morgan, Jay Chapman are there on the wings. Michael Bradley, though so obviously, you know, not, uh, not crazy changes going on there by any means. Uh, but it looks like we do have some very, very good guys stepping in there. We've seen some really good things from Ashton Morgan. And we've seen some really good things from Jay Chapman in his usual spot. So... Let's hope this pans out well. Look at these moves by Javinko. This is getting me jacked up to get into this matchup. Now, see a little little chip. Oh, wow. That wasn't a little chip. That was a much larger chip than expected. But okay, that is our warm-up. That's the one that gets me going here, guys. So almost ready for kickoff here. The TFC boys getting all warmed up. See Chapman, Javinko, and Bradley. Here goes the Montreal Impact getting themselves all warmed up. And I mean, they're going to get need to get warmed up because the TFC boys are coming in hot right now. On a nice little streak here, scoring lots of goals, playing great, great football. So, here we go, guys. It's time for kickoff. Jeff Millennial trying to get himself jacked up for this game. Victor Vasquez getting things moving here for TFC. Now, Jeff's getting his first touch nice and early here. That's exactly what we're hoping to see. That's getting out for Morgan. There we go. Let's step back into the play. That's out for Javinko. Morgan crossing that in for Millennial. First time touch. Oh. Big stop there. Big, big stop. Now, a man we got to watch out for on the Montreal side is Piatti. Very, very strong player for Montreal. He really drives all the offense for this squad. So, let's see how this one pans out. We're going to cover our man here. Yep, there we go. Just nice and simple, guys. Working our way back to the defense. I mean, the success that we've seen with TFC has been all the build-up play. So, we're going to work that through. Look, slow. Chapman working his way through there with Jordan Hamilton. Out of boy, Hammy. Let's find our way. Perfect. Nice touch there. Look at that. Fine Michael Bradley. Bradley looking his way through for Javinko. A oh, big, big play there defensively for Montreal. Little counterattack here, but Jeff Millennial knowing what he's got to do on the defensive side. Yep, took a nice step there, but he comes away with it. They're pushing forward. Chris Mavinga, just, just such a steady defender. Very steady Eddie for us on the back end. Hamilton looking to open things up. Michael Bradley there. There we go. Vander Wheel. Jeff's going to open this one up now. Beautiful touches here. Look at this. Nice, clean, open play here by TFC. Hoping to get something going here. Oh, look at that battle by Ashton Morgan. That's the kind of stuff you want to see from guys who are coming in. Substituting in for injuries with Jensen out as well. There we go. Bradley looking for that nice touch. Jeff looking for time and space. Feeds that through for Seba. Seba, that's in the back of the net. What a feed by Jeff Millennial to set up the always dangerous Formica Itamica, Sebastian Javinko. What a great goal for him, man. That was some stellar, stellar stuff. Look at this. Patience. Let Seba get in front of the center back. Find space and time at the top of the box. And he buries that one in. 11th goal of the season. And a 12th minute goal here for TFC in the first half. And this looks to be on the road potentially here in Montreal. So obviously, the great strong start that we needed here. 
Great job, boys. Here we go. Actually, I'm seeing some TFC banners. I'm not entirely sure we are situated. We are wearing the red, so I imagine actually we might be at home. We might not be in Saputo Stadium. Actually, I'm not sure if it's still Saputo even. Um, have to uh, double check that one. Any of our MLS fans? Confirm for me below. Very curious to see how TFC goes this year, guys. Oh, look at that ball. Look at that ball for Hamilton. That's off the post. Hamilton can't finish that one. What a feed by Jeff Millennial. The patience. The patience he is showing right now is just next level, man. Like, this is what you expect from a seasoned veteran, not a kid at his age. Though when we saw that he is something special, they are not lying there whatsoever. So here comes Jeff now again, trying to slow things down. Working a little nice one-two there for Hamilton. Oh, puts the through. Jeff didn't see it. Didn't see it well enough to get to the play. Guys, trying to get out of my way, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. To the outside. Trying to feed that one back in. Bradley puts that one far corner. And Morgan's not there. Montreal is able to kick this one out. They get away with a lucky one there. But I guess first thing we'll get started off with, guys, is PFC in their opening matchup against the Philadelphia Union. What a game. I mean, coming off of a very, very, very poor look um, in Champions League against the uh, Panama side they went up against, they got smoked. That was not a good two-leg matchup for TFC to get things started for... I guess this season here. Uh, obviously, they're really missing Javinko on that front front end. Uh, Josie Altador out injured, obviously not uh, not helping the squad at all whatsoever. So uh, you know, just signed a long term contract though, at least another three years with TFC. Very exciting stuff. Uh, I think there was a lot of fear that with Javinko leaving, that we're going to be losing out on a lot of star power. So uh, they just got a new designated player, uh, Spanish native here, playing for Gent. Uh, out in Belgium. But very, very excited to see what he can do. Uh, a little bit of a mixed type player like Javinko. He's got lots of speed and skill uh, and some finishing. Maybe not as much as Javinko. I believe he plays a cam position, center attacking mid. Uh, but very excited to see what he can bring to the table. Hopefully he can help out, uh, keep some service for Altidore and, uh, you know, make sure TFC is still scoring plenty of goals. Uh, Jeff Millennial here trying to open things up and find some space across the top of the box. Great look there. Great defense here by Montreal to keep him going. Nice passing out here. Michael Bradley can't stop that one. Let's see how things kind of roll through. Great touches here. Look at this. Boom, boom, boom. That's what you want to see. Vasquez gets that through. Jordan Hamilton slows it down a bit. That gets to the outside. Jeff trying to find some space here at the top of the box. That was smashed. And Keeps comes out and punches that one out. And somehow, some way. Yep, Jeff calls that one from Bradley. Jeff with a strike. That's blocked. Great block there. Montreal is really closing down tight here in the box, guys. Looking very, very good. Not a lot of teams have been able to stop us this season. Toronto FC has been looking very good. And I guess, uh, you know, they must be watching the tapes. Knowing not to give Jeff Millennial any time and space here. The 35th minute, almost coming to a close here in the first half. And Montreal is holding on for dear life here. Our number is getting down to 7.8. Not exactly where I was hoping to see it per se. Especially after the great start that we had. We're going to take, look at this, take the opportunity, time and space... Opening things up for Hamilton there. Here comes the through. Chapman. That's a cross for Jeff Millennial. Oh, what a pass. Oh, couldn't finish that one for Hamilton. Jeff Millennial sending through the little cheeky, cheeky nutmeg. Also just got killed there by Mancuso. And just trying to get back in the play here. Oh, great defense. Look at Morgan and Mavinga shutting that one down real nice. Okay, so we keep getting hit for positional. Meanwhile, we're just trying to get into the right places for our squad. I mean, I don't know sometimes. I'll say it every episode, guys. The positional stuff, I really don't get. Jeff sends that one out for Morgan. That's back in now for Millennial. Taking his peaks here. Drives that one through. That's a cross for Chapman. Chapman puts that one back in. And Vasquez, what a big save. Big save there by the Montreal keeper. Vasquez now on the corner. Jeff Millennial trying to find some time and space. Van der Weel puts a header in. That's just over the crossbar. Great, great look there for Gregory Van der Weel, But not enough to put that one in. We're down to the last two minutes here in the first half. There we go. Big win there. Well done by the defense. But Montreal is able to get that one back real quick. They're looking for Piatti. You know they will be. Mancuso. Yeah, Jeff Millennial. Nice, nice recovery there for the defense. And now the build-out play starts. Sebastian Jovinko looks, finds Jeff Millennial. Jeff Millennial puts a ball over the top. What a great feed for Morgan. Morgan puts that one in, but nobody there up top. Sebastian Javinko dropping back to cover the midfield. And nothing happening there, but Javinko now leading the way again here. Can TFC make a late push? And the referee says no. 
The whistle's blown down here for the first half. TFC, 1-0 lead on a great goal by Sebastian Javinko. But I think we can speak to the quality passing that we're seeing from Jeff Millennial in this game. I think, obviously, take a look at what the manager's saying. You're racking up impressive numbers by key passes, impressive vision, great vision for creating the goal. And our short passing has been, c'est magnifique, as they like to say in Montreal. So let's see what we can do here. Keeping things rolling through, keeping some pressure on Montreal. We do have to step up our game here. Coach is looking for us to start reaching that nine level performance. So defensively and from a passing perspective, I'm liking what we're seeing. Uh, but obviously we haven't had really too many bad shots at goal. Um, you know, I think only one really that looked to be blocked. So there we go. Look at that. Come back on the defensive side. I think coach can obviously be happy about this one. Opening that up for Bradley. Here we go. That's dropped now for Hamilton. Jeff Bellini opened that bracket for Bradley. Just trying to get things opening up here. Vasquez taking his looks. Morgan taking his look now as well. Oh, gives away that one. Bradley comes in tough. Vasquez wins that one back. Morgan now with Bradley working their way around. Here we go. Hamilton opens that up. That comes across for Millennial. He's taking his looks. Finds the ball through for Seba. That gets in. Nice little cross out of the back, but Morgan's not going to get there. There's got to be more quality passing there. Jay Chapman's got to put something in the area for Morgan to make a play at that one, guys. And unfortunately, this time, he did not. So let's see where this is going now. That's getting deep. Gregory Vanderweel getting up there. Well done by this defense. Our defense has been stellar, man. We really haven't given up much goals this year. Alex Bono's been having some quality games. Gibby doesn't really have to do too, too much. Oh, Jeff with a great stutter step there. Feeds Hamilton. Jeff gets that one back. Tries to get a foot on it. Vasquez gets in front of him. He can't do it. Hamilton taking a look. Just puts a weak left footer at the net. And that one just sails right over. So Hamilton comes out. 55th minute. Looks like, yes, Tosane Ricketts will be coming on here for Jordan Hamilton. Could change things up a little bit here. Uh, he's been quality coming off the bench. Especially working with Seba. So we'll take a peek to see how he does. Jeff Millennial trying to open up some space and time here. Ashton Morgan working with Javinko. Jeff Millennial. Oh, little ball step over. That tries to get back for Javinko. And that's read by the Montreal defense. Not a good angle for us to shoot there, guys. We don't really have that good of a strong uh, weak foot. That wasn't going to work. Vander Wheel and Morgan working here trying to get something going. Come on, boys. Open her right up. Yeah, Michael Bradley taking his peaks. That's a cross for Ricketts. Ricketts finds Millennial. Millennial back for Bradley. Bradley poking that one through for Vasquez. Bradley again. Vasquez taking his peaks. He gets that across for Chapman. That's back for Vasquez. Jeff Millennial takes a shot right in the box. Chapman looking. Oh, that needed the cross. That needed a little bit of service. Come on, get up there. Morgan battling through. That should be out for the corner. Yep, the ref points. 61st minute here. Mancuso coming off for Montreal. Come on, guys. He's something here. That gets headed out to Jeff Millennial. He looks for the strike. Oh, that's blocked. Left-footed strike there from Jeff Millennial. Trying to give it a go. He takes another pass there. Gets stepped on by the defender. No call. Montreal trying to counterattack. But look at the red jerseys coming back and committing to that defense again. Something we've definitely seen from this squad. But Montreal is finding a way through here. The defense. Oh! Oh, that was not, not the kind of opportunity you want to leave open. Montreal gets the look at goal. And now they're making a tactical substitution here. We got Marky Delgado coming on for Victor Vasquez. I guess hoping to have a little bit more of a defensive hold on the midfield. Not needing Vasquez to push too, too hard here. Between Jeff Millennial still being a cam, you don't really need too, too many cams going. And Vasquez and me can pretty much provide the same kind of quality. So Jeff Millennial working here. He's got Seba. Seba's taking his looks. Working his way to the outside. Jeff Millennial coming back in to give him some sort of option. That's Bradley for Ricketts. Jeff Millennial taking a couple steps. Feeds that through for Seba. Seba with a ball roll. Oh, what a save again by the Montreal keeper. Seba can't believe it. Another corner here for TFC. Can they make them pay now? In for Ricketts. Ricketts misses that one. The keeper gets a hand to it. That's Drew Moore now accepting that for TFC. Marky Delgado looking to get one in. And that's out for another corner. 70th minute here, guys. Can TFC find one more brace? To get themselves a bigger lead. Oh, Ricketts puts one through. And Montreal's able to get that one out. What a great stop by the keeper. I have to say, man, I've been very impressed with what Montreal's been showing us this game. Michael Bradley here. Looks fine, Ricketts. Ricketts pushes that one off for Delgado. He puts one on for Jeff Millennial. Puts the strike. Left footer. Not going to trouble the keeper from there. But he took his chance. They're on a bad angle. No one was really crossing the box there. Ready for that one. Jeff Millennial. Look at that. 
Great, great strength showing on the ball. Marky Delgado. Oh, Tosain Ricketts for Delgado. Gets that one through, but Seba just can't get to it. And we're moving the ball well, guys. I don't question what TFC is showing this game. Quick change here coming out. Piet for Montreal. For Litschke coming in. Jeff Millennial here getting the ball at half. Taking a look to open something up here. Opens up Ricketts. Morgan gives a fake to himself to the outside. Michael Bradley now trying to find something to put into the middle. That's back outside. Morgan for Ricketts. Tries to get that back through for Bradley. And Montreal is reading that one too well. That needed a first time touch when that got out to the side the first time. And they waited too long for that one. All right, Vander Wheel now and Morgan. Montreal steals that one cheaply from Morgan. He's got to do a lot better there. Jeff Millennial coming in to try and help out defensively. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Can he win that battle? Nope. Montreal's pushing. Come on, boys. Get back. Gets that ball. Delgado. Somebody's got to get this ball possession right now. Let's go. Montreal's still pushing here. Taking their chance to try and get some sort of a counterattack with 81 minutes gone by here in this game. There we go. Morgan finds Ricketts. Ricketts takes his peak. That finds Bradley. Back for Delgado. Ricketts now pushing forward here with Morgan. Michael Bradley and Jeff Millennial up ahead. That cross gets in. Jeff can't get to it. This good Montreal defense has really held strong. Morgan tries to put one through there. And I believe that was header just wide. Yeah, just wide by Jay Chapman. Couldn't get his head across it. Really want to see him get out to his wing. I think I'd rather see myself or Javinko try and get that ball down. But I mean, he's trying to come in and cover. It looks like Seba has kind of switched out to the wing for the time being. Seba now taking his looks. Opening up with Delgado. Just working the wing there. Hossein Ricketts for Delgado. That's getting outside for Seba. Jeff tries to get to the middle. That's blocked by the Montreal defense again. Out for another corner here. Sanya coming out. 87th minute. Come on. We need one here, guys. One should lock it down. That's getting to the top of the box. Drew Moore can't take that one down, and that's out for Montreal. Michael Salazar coming in here. Montreal must be looking at one last push. Trying to tie this game up and get a, at least one point out of this game. All right, the boys are pushing here. Trying to find one more. Tosain Ricketts. That's out for Javinko. He puts the cross in. Jeff can't get there. Bradley can't get a foot to it. He kicks that one out. And we are down to the 90th minute here, guys. 1-0. Tight game here against Montreal. Three minutes of injury time. All right, the boys are looking to do something here. Vanderweel gets that one down. There we go. The boys are the build-up play. Kosein Ricketts looking to find Morgan. Morgan gets that out for Bradley. Bradley looking for the cross. Takes that one out too far and loses possession. And that's going to come back the other way now. Giving Montreal one last chance to counterattack. We're at the three-minute point now, and there it is. The ref sees TFC get that ball back and decides to call it down right away. one nothing victory here in the books for Toronto FC against Montreal. A great victory here. The boys are out there starting the Viking clap with the TFC faithful. Hey, one more time. Hey, the Red Patch boys, and the celebrations are going wild here at BMO Field. And TFC with a victory. What a great animation here to see. Look at that. Jeff Millennial, Michael Bradley and the boys celebrating here with the Red Patch Boys and the Kings in the North. And that's a 1-0 victory here for TFC against their rival, Montreal Impact. We'll take the 8.5. That's obviously a big win for us. And now, after Evan Bush saves Montreal, their defense holds them down. We will look to push forward here to our second and final game of the episode and see what TFC can do to finish this, you know, this episode off. Are we going to get another victory? Can we keep up this hot streak we got going? I mean, it's only going to help us the playoff looks. But now, let's take a look to see what kind of uh, what kind of training we can do. We'll load the previous sessions. We'll simulate all. There you go, an A, a B. Definitely bringing up those numbers. We'll take the C. Obviously, Ds and Fs are not what we want to see, but, you know, not too shabby. Uh, let's take a peek here. Looks like we got the Portland Timbers coming up on the 29th. So, we'll sim up to that date. There we go. It's match day. No training. We are in the starting 11 as per the usual. Can't really say I'm surprised about that. Uh, there's our one nothing victory. Anything else really being stated here? Doesn't seem to look like it. So, guys, it is time for the Portland Timbers. We're heading off to Portland. Here we go, TFC. We're in the whites. We got the Alaska Airlines green 
for the Portland Timbers. Jeff Millennial is the guy who keeps popping up now. It's great to see. 72. Uh, we're playing on the inside with Morgan. Vasquez on the other side. Getting ready to get this game kicked off here, guys. We got a big one for us here. Portland, obviously a team who we cannot take lightly. Uh, I believe we had a close game with them earlier in the season, if I'm not mistaken. And here we go. A little warm-up sesh again here for us. Great through ball. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. Just kick and have some fun. Time to get into the game action now. Here we go. Jeff Millennial and TFC at Portland. Obviously a very exciting game coming up here. Hi there, everybody. Here we go. The flags are out. Assuming we will see the starting lineups here. There they come out. All guy was looking like Messi there coming out for Portland. So you got Michael Bradley leading the TFC. And where the, there we go. I see a little corner there for the TFC fans. So the player to watch for today's game. 24 appearances, 11 goals this season for Seba. There he is in the lineup there. Standing beside Jordan Hamilton getting the start here again. No news on Josie Altador as of yet. Time to get things kicked off here. Want to get things started and uh, finish off strong for today's episode. So Portland's got the kickoff, and here we go. What can we expect to see from Portland today? And here they are pushing forward already, not wasting any time trying to get ahead of TFC. But you'd only imagine, we do tend to strike early. I mean, if you want to try and uh, thwart us down and stop our offense, you might as well start getting some ball possession yourself, because we do typically have quite a bit of it. Look at that, quick breakout play here for TFC. Can we look to get one early? Jeff sends one out for seven to the corner. Seba looking here, takes the shot. What a goal by Sebastian Javinko. The right foot, outside curve, top corner, fools the Portland Timber keeper. And this is exactly what we just talked about. TFC getting on the board early is never, never a good sign for any team. Look at Seba here. Outside of the foot, puts that just inside the post. And there's that early 1-0 lead for TFC. Four minutes into this game. That is incredible. Can they keep it up though? Okay, well, how does Portland counter that? Can you keep up with TFC? I mean, this is a road match for us. Keep that in mind. So an early goal for us is always, always beneficial to keeping a strong game here. We already jumped up to a 7.6. Obviously, how we want to start. Michael Bradley there. Great job. Kicking that one away for Vasquez. Trying to get things opened up here. That's Movinga. Drew Moore now. Working his way across. Vasquez now taking his peaks. Opens that one up for Bradley. There we go. The boys are starting to counter. Very, very bad pass here. I believe that was Jordan Hamilton. We're definitely seeing the effects of not having Josie Altador. Not that Altador was a better passer by any means, but uh, definitely a lot stronger on the ball there than we're seeing from Hamilton. Let's go, boys. Come on now. Mavinga loses that one. Jeff Millennial comes back to fight for that. And the counterattack is on here again for TFC. Jeff slows it down. Works with Michael Bradley. Quick touch pass there for Morgan. Morgan looking through now. Michael Bradley. Across for Vasquez. That's on for Hamilton. Hamilton taking his looks. Tries to find the through from Chapman. For Jeff Millennial. Can't get there. So we're going to work our way back. Don't want to be taking any uh, in the wrong position calls. Enough, enough white jerseys should be back here. But Jeff Millennial still wants to come back. Drew Moore headers that one out. And that's out for a Portland throw. 14 minutes in here. TFC up early. 1-0 on another stunning goal by Sebastian Jovinko. And here he is now, working with Jeff Millennial. Tries to find him. Jeff Millennial now sends that one through. Now the counterattack is on here again for TFC. That's a through for Jeff. Jeff looking his way in. Pulls the fake shot. Oh, keep it simple. Getting in trouble. Skill's not high enough yet to start pulling off those moves. Ah, jumped too early there. Poor timing. That's a 7-7. And Portland starting to counterattack. And Jeff, the first man back again. That's that through for Morgan. And Michael Bradley sends through a pooch kick to the corner there that Seba was definitely not ready for. Dropping back into some coverage here. Seba's got up high. Jeff Millennial dropping back. Powell's trying to find his way through. Armentos gets that one across from Milano. Jeff Millennial gets an ankle on that one, but not enough to take it down. Yes, look at that one. And Portland's still pushing forward here. There we go. Jeff Millennial comes back to at least get a foot onto that one. Seba's not going to win those headers by any means. And Portland's really putting on some pressure. Jeff Millennial there interfering with that one. Great, great defensive play here. Vasquez playing that to the outside. That's out for Chapman. Chapman putting that through for Hamilton. If Hamilton can find something here to get into Jeff Millennial. That's top of the box for Seba. That's in the back of the net. TFC here. A second brace 
from Sebastian Jovinko on a great cross from Jordan Hamilton. Jeff looks like he pulled off the center back. Sebastian Jovinko finds the space and time and puts that one into the back of the net. And I don't think there's a hotter player in MLS right now than Sebastian Jovinko. He's been scoring goals pretty much in every game since Josie Altador has gone down with injury. And look at him find the space there. Just quality. Quality find from a quality player. 13 goals. 25th minute goal there for TFC. And they got themselves a 2-0 lead here on the road against Portland. Got a great interception there, but unfortunately did not fall for us. But TFC looking on the quick counterattack here again. Let's go. Push forward here. That one's going for Hamilton. Hamilton and Chapman working on the outside. Michael Bradley now looking for Vasquez. Vasquez pushes forward. That's in for Seba. Oh, that's off the post. Off the keeper, off the post, off the keeper and back out. That could have been the hat trick real quick here in the first half for Sebastian Javinko. And you'd almost feel that TFC could have shut the game down from there. That's out for Jeff Millenio. who puts that one in for Morgan. Hamilton looking in here, trying to find the space. Stepping on the ball. That's across. Javinko now. That's in for Morgan. Javinko battling back. Oh, he wins that header. Well done by Javinko. Jeff Millenio puts that one through there for Vasquez. Sliding at that one. Not sure what he was trying to do there. And Portland coming away with this one. On the counterattack here. Blanco. Working with Filofana. Milano now. Valeri. Armentos. Been trouble pushing forward. All game so far here for Portland. Ah, look at that great defense there. Well done, boys. Pushing out here. Jordan Hamilton working it back. The build-up play here for TFC once again. This is where we find their quality. Jeff is pushing forward. Tries to get that one back for Hamilton. Oh, and Hamilton just gets bodied off. Jeff does not have that breakaway speed yet to start beating center backs on those one-on-ones. Here we go. Portland trying to find something here to stay in this game. You feel like if they fall down three, this might be trouble for them. Oh, man. Wow. That's not a foul? Okay. Jeff gets destroyed. No call. Portland pushes forward. Could be offside there. And that's kicked out safely there by Mavinga. Oh, sorry. Ashton Morgan got back to that one. Okay. Great defense there by the midfielder. Oh, oh, Portland pushes in, and that just gets wide. That's been the best look and probably best chance for Portland there. TFC man gets his head on that one. Jeff Valenio battling it out there. That one's going to get popped over the post, and that looks to be out for a goal kick. 40 minutes passed here in the first half. 2 nothing TFC here in Portland. And they're trying to get themselves back on the board here for another one. That's a great step there. TFC looking for the build-up again. Vasquez. For Millennial. That's back. Working with Seba here. Vasquez now with Hamilton. Hamilton in for Vasquez. Seba in with Hamilton. They can't find the space. Javinko is able to kick that one to the outside. Jeff Millennial trying to find his way to the top of the box. That's out. Bradley now. For Morgan. For Hamilton. He puts one in back post. And no one's going to get there for that one. We lost a couple points there for bad positioning. Which I really don't see how that one panned out. But alright. You say so. Stepping up. Well done. Look at the defense holding through there. That one. Yep. Jeff, oh, Jeff lost that one to Armentos. He wanted that one more, apparently. Let's go, fellas. Come on. Portland's getting a lot of looks forward here. I mean, luckily, our defense is quite strong. Uh-oh. That ball gets through. Big step there by Mavinga. Quality. And that ends our first half, guys. We got ourselves a 2-0 lead here for Toronto FC heading into the second half here on the road. Positional play is off this season. I, I don't buy that at all. I think that's a load of crap, but okay, if you say so. If you say so, Greg Vanny. I think I'm one of your best players every game, but sure. And here comes the build-up play again here for TFC. Trying to get things going. Sebastian Javinko gets that one across for Hamilton. Or that's Vasquez. Seba gets the quick shot. What a big stop there by the Portland keeper. That's full stretch. That was an incredible look. That gets the top of the box. Sebastian Javinko trying the bicycle kick. And that looks to be off the Portland man. Now they got themselves. A short cross in there by Vasquez. Thought we'd see a little bit more on that one. Oh, Jeff can't get to that. That's cheaply lost there. Armentos pushing forward here for Portland. And the defense is going to shut that one down real quick. Jeff puts that through for Javinko. It gets dropped for Vasquez. It gets pushed across for Morgan. Back for Bradley. Jeff Valeno takes that one. The quick turn. And that's in the back of the net. Jeff Millennial 
with the beautiful spin, turn, and fire from the top of the box. And that puts the kid up for another brace here this season. And what a quality finish in the bottom corner. Let's look at this replay again. Sebo gets this one outside. Ashton Morgan finds Bradley, who quickly finds Jeff. And he quickly just turns on the defender and fires it bottom corner. What a finish here for the center attacking midfielder of Toronto FC. No chance for the keeper. He was full stretch. And he's got himself a goal in the 51st minute. And that puts TFC up here 3 to nil against Portland. Now, how can we finish, guys? Can we finish strong? Armentos looking to get something going here. Trying to build up the play. TFC not trying to have any of it. Uh-oh. Armentos puts one on. And that's Alex Bono with a big save. First save we've seen from Alex Bono in quite some time, I must say. Typically, guys are missing. Or they just get uh, rollers towards them. So that kind of was a good shot at goal for them. Now the push forward here. Jordan Hamilton gives that one up cheaply. We've said that one quite a few times. Jeff Valeno trying to get back in the play here. Portland's pushing forward. Armentos again, who's been really a pain for us. As he's been quite quality for them and getting the ball moving. That's on the top of the box. Oh, and that's in the back of the net for Portland. First goal given up by TFC in quite some time. And Milano... Puts in quite the stellar header. Let's look at this replay again. There's the cross. Milano's almost at the top of the box. And Alex Bono just can't react to it fast enough. Quality finish there for Portland. Out comes Sebastian Javinko and in comes Tosain Ricketts. And we got ourselves a 3-1 lead. So don't leave your seats yet, guys. This game is not over with. Here we go. Jeff Millennial here. Good step on the ball. Trying to get the build-up play started here for TFC. Ricketts trying to push forward. Can't get that one through. Here we go. Well done. Hamilton. Oh, bad turn again from Hamilton. Giving that one away cheaply. Oh, Hamilton can't get to that one either. But Jeff Millennial's there to make sure it happens. Open the ball up now. Michael Bradley taking his peek through. Gets that one up and across for Chapman. That's in for Jeff. Jeff loops one over. And Tosain Ricketts was not ready for the through ball. Something Javinko probably would have had locked down. But Ricketts was not in the right place. And now... Portland trying to find something here. They're going to need one very, very soon. If they're going to figure something out. Jeff trying to help back on the defense. Drew Moore now with the boys. Trying to keep these guys out of here. Well done. Here comes the counterattack here. One more time. Jeff trying to find his way through. That's outside for Chapman. Great quality. Open that one up. Tries to get that through for Bradley. That's not going to get there. But a kick out here for the safe play. For Portland who do not... Want to surrender to the goal here. Jordan Hamilton coming out here. Another switch at forward. And who's coming in for TFC now? It looks to be... There we go. Jeff gets that through for Bradley. That's through for Vasquez. A battle there in front. And John Baccaro has come in here for TFC. A name we haven't seen in quite some time. Oh, another switch here. Victor Vasquez. Marky Delgado. So again, there's that defensive substitution. And we'll see how this one pans out for TFC here. I have too many guys come out. Vanderweel gets up for that one. He can't get that down. Six, Almost 67 minutes passed here. 3-1 lead for Toronto FC. All right, boys, let's go. Marky Delgado taking that one down. Jeff Millennial. Oh, he just gets control on it. But no dice there. Ball gets kicked forward, and he can't make a play at it. Marky Delgado dropping back here, trying to help defensively. We need to step on this ball, guys. No nonchalant defense this time. Boys are trying to step up here. Drew Moore gets to that one. Can he keep it in? Yep, there we go. Moore keeps that one in. Finds a safe play to Jeff Millennial. He opens up that one to the wing. They're trying to break out here. Well done. Look at that. That's out for Ricketts. And now the passing has started here again for TFC. So saying Ricketts loses that one, though. And thus, the Portland Timbers trying to counterattack now. And my oh my, are we seeing a great back and forth game here. Jeff Millennial loses that shoulder to shoulder. Terrible cross there for Portland. 73 minutes passed here, guys. Can Portland answer TFC? So far, they got the one. But can they get at least one more here in the next few minutes to at least give themselves some sort of an opportunity to come back in this game? You are down two, but one goal can switch a game and the momentum. But TFC is looking to find that fourth. We got Marky Delgado trying to break up here. And that's going to get back to the center back. Who heads that one back to the middle. If there's a TFC guy there, that's a dangerous play. Jeff Valendo trying to get back now. Gets hit with the positioning thing again. Again. 
I'm a center attacking midfielder, Vanny. Let me do my thing. Oh, great, great, great quality there by Vanderweel to get the head on it. And not great quality by this Portland Timber forward team who couldn't get that one going anywhere. So there's a change. Villafana for Andy Polo, who's now on for Portland. Jeff takes that one down. And now we start the passing play here. Trying to get things moving. That's out for Jeff. Jeff finds his way through. That gets out for back row, who leaves it for Delgado. Chapman now looking. Trying to get something in. That gets in for Bradley, and Jeff gets shouldered a little bit off the ball there. Probably not what you're expecting to see. He was looking for at least a header on that one. And no call there by the referee, who seemingly put the whistle away in this game. Haven't really seen much at all. Here we go. Delgado now trying to get things started off. That goes for Ricketts. Jeff Millennial sends a beautiful through for Chapman, who's going to lose that foot race. We only get... Oh, Chapman wins that one back, though. That gets back for Jeff Millennial. Jeff Millennial puts that through for Chapman. And that's in the back of the net for Jay Chapman. Some great vision and patience there again from Jeff Millennial to find the space, let the play break open, and give Chapman that fantastic look at goal. Look at this. A couple steps over, finds Chapman finding his way through the crease of the defense and puts that one top corner where Mama keeps the cookie jar. And that's third goal of the year there for Jay Chapman and a 4-1 lead here for TFC. And this has to be the end now for Portland. They put up a great fight, scoring a goal here against TFC, which we really haven't seen that often this season, especially after the first few games. Now TFC, Jeff Millennial come back for that one. He's having a quality match at a 9.2 rating here. Puts that one through for Ricketts. That's a cross for Morgan. Jeff Millennial looking for more here. Morgan trying to kill a little bit of clock. We're down to 88 here. That's through for Jeff Millennial. He goes for the shot. That's blocked. They're getting scared. Not trying to give Jeff Millennial any time here. Any time at all. And the boys here looking to get back on it. There we go. Jeff Millennial stepping on that one. Putting that out. That's coming back in for Jeff Millennial. He's got that across for Baccaro. Baccaro gets that across for Chapman. To Delgado. That's in now. Baccaro tries to get that through for Ricketts. Oh, great defensive play there by the Montreal center back. And that's even out for the goal kick. That is quality. So we got three minutes injury time here. We're at 92 now already. And I mean, in a 4-1 game, you can imagine that the, the ref is not going to let this one go too long. That's put through for Jeff Millennial. He does a nice little step back there. Oh, another great little move there. Puts that through for Michael Bradley. That gets through for back row. Back row back for Jeff Millennial. Who puts one off the bar? Oh, off the post and across the goal line. But cannot get in. What a quality look there by Jeff Millennial. And the ref quickly blows it down right after that one. 4-1 victory here for TFC against Portland on the road. And what a big victory it was. There's the celebrations. TFC looking very happy. Jay Chapman getting himself a brace today. Sebastian Javinko with two. And Jeff Millennial with a beautiful finish for his goal. And that is a stellar win here again for Toronto FC. 9.2 rating here for Jeff Millennial. So he's continuing to grow every day, man. Just quality, quality for Jeff Millennial. And we're going to advance on here. Head back over. I don't believe in the positional play. I really think we played a quality game. And we'll take that 9.2 and walk away happy. So we will sim up to our next game, guys. If we have any training, we'll get that done. And then we will wrap up today's episode. And this was really one to be proud of, man. We had some great, great games. Looks like we won a man of the match for that one as well. So that's fantastic. Uh, three days remaining. No training required. Let's advance over here. Looks like we're going to get right into some game action. All right, we have the transfer deadline. It looks like we need to throw this one in, guys, because, I mean, why not, right? Let's see if anything's going to come here for TFC or if Jeff Millennial ends up being put somewhere. So we're down to nine hours left here. Nothing done for our squad. No acquisitions, no players sold. We continue to push through here. Down to this seven-hour timeline. Nothing done. Working our way down to six hours. Nothing done. 318 million spent. Nothing from our side. You can see up there, David Alaba heads off to PSG for 76 million. But we keep continuing to win, which is a great news story for us. You don't need to make any big deals on that sense. We are down going to four hours left here. 
378 million left. Trying to push through. Do we have anything for TFC? Oh, look at that. Hold on. Let's go back to Montreal here. Piatti is out for Montreal. So they look to be selling and selling hard. Uh, trying to get over. Wright Phillips has left. That's very big news. Uh, trying to get to TFC. Where are we at? Where are we at? Portland making some moves. There's the Quakes, the Sounders. There we go. TFC. Wow, guys. Michael Bradley has been sold. Has been sold for Toronto FC. Shocking. I wonder where he went. That is a big, big question mark for us. Wow, oh, wow. Okay. So, 440 million off the board here. We're rolling back to Bradley. Three hours left here. And the time is moving through. Our captain, Michael Bradley, is gone for Toronto FC. Down to the last hour here. Is anything left to happen for TFC? Last hour. Let's see it happen. And that's it. So, guys, Michael Bradley is no longer, no longer a Toronto FC player. Let's see if we can figure out what's happening here. So, a quick note let everyone know that the following players will be leaving on international duty. So, Bradley's off to the U.S. Azorio, Hamilton, and Morgan are off for Canada. And here is the trade deadline deals. Deadline has passed. Total amount spent, half a billion dollars. 548 million. And uh, so, Bradley will be on his way out. We don't know officially where he's gone. We have no idea. That has not come across our details yet. Uh, do they have anything here about Michael Bradley being sold? It doesn't seem to show anything for us. We haven't got called up for Italy yet. That'll be exciting to see if we can finally get that call. Uh, see if we can check the squad report. Maybe we can figure out what happened to Michael Bradley. So there he is. There we go. So Michael Bradley will be heading off to Gremio. Not sure exactly where that is. Gremio. But that will be Michael Bradley's team. Once the next transfer window is open. So this will be the end of Michael Bradley, guys. Let's enjoy these games while we can. So there we go. We will be taking on LAFC in our next game, guys. So this is where I leave you. We just passed the transfer window. Michael Bradley will be gone. Big, big news there, guys. This might affect our midfield. It leaves us and Vasquez. I'm curious to see who they're going to play in that uh, defensive role. Who really knows? MLS there, player of the month shortlist. You can see Jeff Molina there off on the side. So all in all, guys, great, crazy, good episode. Jeff Millennial scores again. That's his ninth goal. He's got 20 points in 20 games as per our little uh, edit pro detail there. So guys, if you're loving this FIFA My Career Mode, let's keep rolling through. We're going to hit that high 70 and we're going to request a trade and see if we can make our way out to another squad. So hit that like button as hard as you possibly can to keep this rolling through. Get some more people viewing. Join in the MMC fam. If you haven't subscribed to the Millennial Man Cave, click subscribe. Turn notifications on. Join our amazing group of fans and viewers that we've put together over these last couple of years. The MMC Nation is growing every day, guys. All thanks to you. So be a part of it. Don't watch as a regular viewer. Watch as a subscriber. We would really appreciate that support. We're looking to build and keep things going strong. And we are getting steps and step closer to potentially making this a full-time gig, guys. We want to be able to give that to you. And if we grow, we can make it happen. But right now, we're in that growing phase. We're trying to like nibble our way through little bit by little bit. So we do thank you guys for that support. But again, like, comment, subscribe, share. You guys know all that good stuff. In the descriptions below, you're going to find my little write-ups I do for you guys. Keeping the storyline going well. I do uh, try and make it fun for you guys to make it worthwhile to go check out. Of course, also down there, guys, are social media. If you're not following the MMC on the socials, go do it. We got Facebook. You got Instagram. You got Twitter. And last but not least, you've got that Twitch. Now, we're using the regular socials to post updates for you guys. We try and stay, you know, in the community, tweeting about whatever, sports, video games, all that goodness. And, of course, uh, Andrew Puzzleman, uh, you know, I, I believe you guys have, some of you have reached out to him. We do appreciate that. Um, but uh, the thing to note is that we try to use those as an opportunity to post updates about upcoming videos. Um, and then, you know, be able to just talk with you guys. That's a great part for us. And last but not least, guys, that Twitch game, man. Come and join the MMC live on Twitch. We try and get on at least once a week. And right now, we got a big game coming up, guys. The Division 2 is dropping next week. Next Tuesday, Division 2 is coming out. That will be a Twitch exclusive. You want to come partner up with your boys? Come. 
Chef Tom's going to be playing from his place. You guys are going to see us live. You're going to hear our chat, see us get going. Uh, Austin and Jordan are probably going to jump into that business as well. They do tend to join us on Twitch. You're going to want to be a part of that. Lots of sports stuff going, guys. You know how we do it here in the MMC. And Twitch is also going to get that Dying Light 2 edition when that drops. So a lot to be a part of. Come play with your boys. Come live chat. Let's talk sports. Let's talk life, video games, movies, whatever you guys want, man. That's a great place to be able to socialize and have some fun. And now, also, you guys can find a promo code for our partners in Clutch Chairs. Who doesn't want to get stuff for great prices? It's there. Go check it out. And last but not least, guys, as always, Redbubble, the only place in the world you can get that MMC merchandise, man. It's hot MMC merch. We love it. It's fun. Uh, and it lets you guys, you know, rep us. Rep your boys, your favorite YouTubers. Get out there. Let people see you loving us and join our family and make this thing big and take off, guys. And the only way we can do that is with your help and support. And we do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Redbubble has sales all the time, guys. You don't have to overspend like crazy. We try and got the, get the prices down as low as we could to make it affordable for everybody because we want you guys to wear your stuff proud. They got a wide array of products. You have three logos you can work with. You can pick and choose your colors. And guys, it ships international. And like I said, tons of sales. You can get this stuff for super cheap and the shipping is cheap. What can I say, guys? Check it out. The link will be above like it always is. And uh, here we sign out, man. So Michael Bradley's leaving TFC. How soon till Jeff Millennial does? That's my question.